Hello and welcome. This is uh, Back to Mud Fossil Biology Part 1. I'm, uh, when I was at uh, Fogarty Beach, you notice I found these. These are actually uh, tendon balls. And the reason I know that is because you can see, I'll show you one of them here in a minute. You're going to see a triangle piece on the top. An eye look, uh, shaped like kind of like an eye. These were probably anchored in the bone and then a tendon fiber or a strap would come out of the top of them, which would then go spread off into more tendon fibrils from there. And I'm going to show you one right here. You see this chunkiness right there? They believe these are just geological concretions and they're just formed this way under pressure and heat and things like that. And these have never seen pressure and heat whatsoever. None, zero zip. So what you're going to see is one right here. I'm coming up to it. You're going to see a triangle piece on top. Okay, they also have an equatorial ridge. You see that eye looking thing I'm right there, right there on the top of that? That, where I'm pointing to, that is where the tendon fiber would have, the stalk would have anchored to that eye looking piece, okay? Now, how would that just form an eye looking piece just in geology? You understand what I'm saying? It's not. <clears throat> We're going to get further into this video here. I'm going to show you. Uh, I took a sample off these other what they would call geological concretions and what they would ha it had to be determined as to be a sedimentary deposit because there's no way there's no heat or pressure ever been on what you're about to see coming up right now. So we're going to jump to the next scene here in just a minute about right now. There's another tenon ball. Anyway, I know for a fact those are tenon balls you just seen now. You see this here to the right we're coming up on. Okay, everybody walks by this and doesn't even notice. I don't think even geologists have noticed what that is. They believe it would be, they'd have to be a sedimentary deposit. But it's just loaded full of these round spheres, these round balls. I've shown this before. Okay, now you explain to me how all these round balls were formed in just a sedimentary deposit. There's been no heat. There's been no pressure at all, zero zilch. There is absolutely none. In fact, I brought a piece home where we're going to be looking at underneath a microscope here in the next part two. Now, you're going to see all these round balls in here. And they're actually, the center of them are more solid, but they're built almost, uh, they're constructed like an onion. They're just in layer after layer. And you're going to see that in just a minute. Well, I brought home some of this layer. And we're going to look at it. I've already looked at it. And, you know, it's, it's just particles. looks like it's small rocks and things like that. What would make that be so smart to form these round balls? Think about that. How would they form with all into, into round balls just out of uh, a sediment? Some really smart dirt, huh? Yeah, super smart dirt. Real smart dirt. So, you see, these are a biological. I'm not sure what they are. I know for a fact the ones I just showed you with an eye. Now, you see the layering right there where I just pointed? I take a piece of that home right there. Right here, right there, I grab a piece of it, and I brought that home. See all those layers right there it's made out of? Or it's constructed? And the centers are more solid. It's just the outer layers that are that way. But look at all these balls in there. Now, you tell me how they were formed because there's no heat. No pressure to form them. They're unlike anything geological concretion, or they call geological concretions that I've even found. There's no clam in them. There's no crustacean. There's nothing like them to uh, to be drawn to, you know, to form a nucleus. There's no nucleus. So what's in them? I mean, what, how'd they form? How'd they, how did dirt get that smart? How did a sedimentary deposit get that smart to just all form into balls like that? It's not. It's biological. It's 100% biological. Now I'm going to show you something else here. Um, I'm going to show you another sphere, a round sphere, and um, it's unlike these also. And they would call that a, a geology lumps them all into one ball of marble, bag of marbles here, and they call them all geological concretions. And I 100% disagree with that. I believe 99.99% of them are biological and not geological. Now, I don't know what these are. They're some kind of cell or something like that. Some kind of collagen that's been transitioned into what you just seen those round balls. Alrighty, we're going to jump to the next scene here. You see that round ball sitting there? And that they would call that a sedimentary deposit that it's sitting in. It's funny how this is all side by side. Those round balls are a sedimentary deposit. That's a sedimentary deposit. And those are just geological concretions. See that concretion there? It's totally different than the ones I just showed you or the tendon balls. I'm not sure what that is. Um, to me, it's some kind of a cell or something like that. I don't know. But it's different than the other two that I just showed you. Alright, we're jumping to the next scene here. Now, you're going to be seeing some round balls in coming up ahead of those gray round things. They, those were all round at one time, and they were all in that biology. And they've fallen out, and the, they've been worn down by the ocean and stuff like that. You'll see one of them that I'm coming up to. I'm pointing to that one up there. But you're going to see that one right straight in front of you right there that's still embedded. And you can see some that are barely showing out, barely poking to the right and above it. 
those are I'm not sure what kind of a, you know they're not geological it's biological but they're different than the other four I just showed you look at that little small one right there then you can see this one right here to the left you see this big one right here and it doesn't have the layering quite as much as the ones I showed you that I brought a sample home and I'm not quite sure what they are they're in some kind of a a biology right there and they're biological themselves this is these are not geological concretions like the one I'm pointing at right there is just like the one I just pointed at there so I'm not quite sure what they are but we're gonna be looking at a sample that I, you see me break off from those ones that are layered like an onion and we'll be bringing that to you underneath the microscope and we taking a look at it and be asking yourself why would why would dirt or sediment be that smart to find, find to form these balls because there's been no heat, there's been no pressure to apply to it to even to match any theory they have on geological concretions. And what I'm pointing right out to you right there, that's a membrane, a single layer lipid membrane. Okay, and it's separating the biology from above and biology below. So uh, this is uh, the end of part one, and I'm gonna be getting to part two here real shortly. Okay, okay. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day and bye bye now.